Herding often seems like one step forward and two steps sideways. And so we're going to look at forward versus sideways moving dogs. A forward dog is comfortable putting pressure on the stock and moving into them and driving them. They tend to have a more upright posture, and they move more freely, and we call them pushy or offensive dogs. Now, the other type of dog is a sideways moving dog, and they're more comfortable flanking around stock and stopping. And they tend to have a more crouching or stylish approach. They move less freely usually, and they are called sticky or defensive dogs. Now, the ideal dog is a combination of both these. You want a dog that will flank freely, but stop. Walk in when you ask, but stop when you need them to stop. And pushy dogs sometimes have trouble stopping, and sideways dogs sometimes have trouble getting moving. They tend to be clappers, which means they will lay flat on the ground, and you can't get them up or get them to move again once they stop. We're going to look at a video of two different dogs, and they have different styles, and especially it's apparent when they are applying pressure to stock, putting them in a pen. So let's look at those two dogs. Now we're going to look at the difference between a sideways moving dog and a forward moving dog. Quest tends to be a sideways moving dog. He doesn't like to apply pressure, and he tends to be sticky when you're trying to force animals into a pen. And then we'll look at Sir, who's more of a forward-moving dog. He really likes to put pressure on stock, and he tends to be very pushy, especially at the pen. You can see each of those two dogs reacts differently from pressure from the stock. Something that's really interesting is that you can use different types of reinforcement with each dog. If your dog's a sideways-moving dog, and they tend to want to flank, and they do a really nice walk-in for you, then you can ask them to flank, and that's a reinforcer form. And if you have a dog that is uh, very pushy and he stops, and then you can ask him to walk in again, and the reinforcement is walking in again. So we can use different types of reinforcers for each dog. Thanks for watching. If you like this, hit like, subscribe, and below you should find links for my blog and also for the first chapter of my book, Positive Herding 101. If you found this valuable, please tell your friends and spread the herd.